but look at this. This used to be forest. Dooku, what's up with your pool? Good morning, one and all. Welcome back to Red's Homestead. It's cold. It's about 20 degrees this morning. Everything's frozen. Luckily, I like to do the waters at night so that I don't have to do them in the morning. So all I gotta do is break the ice. I am back here in the woods again, clearing, but today is Saturday, so I have some help, <laughs> which is some of the hardest what takes forever is making the piles and moving all the brush cutting the trees that doesn't take forever and look at those hawks well you can't really see it because it's right at the sun but they are active today i'm hoping with his help i can clear all of this think we can do that yes all right we're gonna get going quite get done what I wanted to today there's still a couple trees left but my helper is getting tired and I did promise him if he helped me today we'd we'd play some video games <laughs> so we're gonna play video games but look at this this used to be forest pretty much from from this stack of wood all the way in was like you see down there. This is a whole nother paddock. <laughs> this will be little turkey's home now. We'll be at the edge of uh, before the drop off and we'll be able to have them all throughout here. This is where I wish I had pigs because they would till up the soil, unearth all the dormant seeds, the seed bank in the soil, and I'd be able to throw some uh, grass seed out too, but we don't have pigs. So we'll have to do it a different way. So as promised, work hard, we play hard. I haven't played a video game in probably two years. Fox, I'm gonna be Fox. Oh, the remote talks to me. Yeah. I was playing this kind of game when I was your age. You're not cold? No. All right. We get like two doors. We get to like 20 in like, at like the morning. Sometimes. It was 23 this morning. Yeah. It was cold. We get to the 20s in the morning. All the waters were frozen. That's the one thing about 
taking a little break in the middle of the day is it's hard to come back out <laughs> i'm tired chainsawing is exhausting but these chickens need a better a better place to roam so it's got to get done yeah. it's not fully dried out but it's close enough He got so scared when I dumped it, he's on the other side of the fence, so we gotta go let him back in. Yeah. Once they get out, they immediately want to go back in. That's just how they are. Unless he found like a special treat. What did you find? What are you eating? Is that an eggshell? Is that an eggshell all the way out here? Go walk along the fence so that he comes in this way. Yep. All right, now walk back this way. Oh no, uh, uh, corral him. You want to push him into here. There you go. Stay along the fence or he's going to escape. Keep it wide open. Keep it wide open. There you go. All they want to do is get back in. Yeah. That's all they care about. They just don't know how. It's like they forget how to fly. Yeah. <laughs> when they fly by accident. I'll be right back. Well, that's it. That's all the wood chips we have. The pile is officially gone. So time to make some phone calls. See if I can find another source. Cause that's not gonna be the last of the rains for this year. I can guarantee that. Here we have it. The magic of gardening is happening once again. And you know you're a crazy gardener when you're gardening right outside your bedroom. So I'm doing two experiments. First one I've done before and actually worked really well. These little seed trays that are in them uh, in their own separate containers. And what I'm trying out this year, I've never used these before, but they're little seed pods. Little seed starter pods. We're gonna try them. There's mixed reviews on them. And what I'm keeping them in is my little indoor greenhouse. I have to lower the light, but you get the idea.